the level of fear is unbelievable. Every time you step out of the patrol base, which feels like a pretty safe place to be in, yeah, you, you're you right on the edge. What becomes crazy is things like firefights um, actually become a relief and enjoyable because you know where the danger is at that point um, and you know how to deal with it, whereas the IDs, you, you just never really knew. <laughs> stood on the bomb and instantly um, it tore off both my legs. My right leg had gone above the knee straight away. My left leg had gone just below the knee um, and my right arm, I'm led to believe it was kind of still there, but they were calling it an amputation at the elbow just because they knew it wasn't going to be saved. To be honest, um, when I came round in hospital three days later, back in the UK, I... Um, kind of just woke up with this sense that I had two choices. I could either roll over and die or I could get up and get on with it. I think it's just a human thing where we're a lot more resilient, capable, adaptable than we give ourselves credit for. And until you find yourself in that moment, in that situation, I don't think you ever quite realize what it is you're capable of doing. The Royal Marines is a family whereby as soon as you've had any engagement with it, you're, you're a member of it and we're really close knit and you know, you, you never quite leave. And so um, that's been a really important um, part of the last 12 months for me is being able to um, go back to my old friends and chat to them, open up to them and still feel like a member of that family. So the most important thing that Royal Marines Charity has done for me is funding um, my prosthetics. They've made sure that I've had the best um, that I can have um, in, order to, in order that I can then get on with my life. It involves running around with my kids. I've now just started university and being able to walk comfortably around a university campus and it involves me going back to work, um, working, doing my leadership consulting. Sometimes it's very much in a lecture theatre or office based, um, but other times it's on the side of a mountain somewhere doing stuff that's pretty active. And I don't think I'd be able to do that if I didn't have the quality of prosthetics that I've got, which luckily the Royal Marines Charity have given me.